Welcome to the Dream It Dose. In the next five minutes, we're gonna talk about how most startups get killed by usually two to three key assumptions, how to identify them, how to de-risk them, and how to make sure it doesn't happen to you. Let's dive in. In the last 30 years of being an entrepreneur and investor, I've learned that every single new idea, every sales forecast I ever look at is always based on two to three critical assumptions. The problem is the entrepreneurs and startups never seem to get that point. What I want you to think about is what are the two to three most critical assumptions you're making that if you're wrong, you're dead. Think about that. And if you want to think more narrowly, a friend of mine used to use and still uses a great line. What's the bet? What's the single most critical assumption you're making that your idea, your startup, your forecast is gonna work? Let's say I was going rock climbing and imagine I'm standing there and I'm hanging off the edge of the cliff. I'm hanging there off that rope off the edge of the cliff. I've got my Scarpa climbing shoes on. I've got my carabiner. Just imagine that person hanging 50 feet down on a 100 foot cliff. My question for you is, what's the bet? What's the one most critical success factor that they're not going to die that day? And if you think about it, their biggest bet is the rope isn't gonna break. It's not their helmet, it's not their carabiner, it's not their scarf but climbing shoes. If that rope breaks, you're done. So what I want you to think about is you're thinking about your early stage idea, what's that rope break issue for you? Let's think about it a little further and let's use an example from 1999. When the team and Tony Shea got involved with Zappos, what was the bet? Amazon was already running, they've been up for five years. What the bet Zappos was making? is that people would buy shoes online. So what did they do? They maniacally focused on that assumption. They assumed that they weren't exactly going to be correct, that they had to figure that out. They went down to the store, they took pictures of shoes, they posted it online, they didn't even hold inventory because if they couldn't de-risk that critical assumption that people would buy shoes online, they were toast. They spent all their time, no leasing warehouses, no big software team, no inventory, de-risk that critical assumption. How are you gonna do that for your startup? I realize I'm going quickly. Please leave your questions in the comments section below. Make sure to subscribe, we have a lot more coming. So I want you to think about how do you turn assumptions into knowledge as quickly and cheaply as possible. Because remember, as assumptions goes down, value goes up. This is all about consuming your intellectual capital before consuming venture capital. Now, you learned about this in fifth grade when you were in elementary school, you learned about something called the scientific method. Do you remember what it is? Think about it for a minute. The first step in the scientific method is you form a hypothesis, exactly. And then you set up an experiment to prove or disprove your hypothesis. That's what assumptions and de-risking is all about. Setting up successively important critical success factors or critical assumptions and de-risking them as quickly and cheaply as possible. That's what it's about. That's what I want you to do. That's what I want you to focus on. So that works when you're a really early stage startup, even as you're moving to your series A. What are those biggest assumptions? How are you gonna de-risk them with your basic idea of your business? Maybe you're getting into your sales pipeline. What are your two to three most critical assumptions going into that pipeline, going into that forecast? How do you de-risk them as quickly and cheaply as possible? That's it. Keep asking, what are your most critical assumptions? What's the bet? What's your rope break issue? That rope breaks, you're dead. Keep setting up experiments to as quickly and as cheaply as possible change assumptions into knowledge. Do that and you're on the path to success. I look forward to answering your questions in the comment section. That's your Dream It Dose in five minutes. See you next time.